Coming up in a special bulletin, we bring you stories that highlight the different areas of the unit.com website. Britain's fight over EU budget as Brussels seeks rise. European Commissioner for Regional Policy visits Slovakia to outline priorities for EU funds. The EU is so predictable. We bring you the word 1972 et al. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. The section UK Impact focuses on the issues that most affect Britain. Right now, Britain's fight over EU budget as Brussels seeks rise. The EU Commission wants a 5% increase in the seven-year budget that would increase it to over 1 trillion euros. The Germans want to limit the budget to 1% of the bloc's GDP. That would be over 100 billion euros less than the Commission wants. The British, however, want a freeze in EU spending, allowing for inflation, but that would produce a budget some 70 billion euros less than that of the Germans. Our top 10 section highlights all the key stories. At number one today, European Commissioner for Regional Policy visits Slovakia to outline priorities for EU funds. On the 9th of November 2012, Johannes Hahn, European Commissioner for Regional Policy, visited Bratislava for talks with Robert Fico, the Slovakian Prime Minister, and the Council of Government in order to discuss regional policy for the next European Union spending round. The visit occurs during a crucial phase in talks between Member States and the European Parliament about the EU's next seven-year budget and the Commission's proposals for future regional policy. Interesting, this one. As I reported yesterday, the EU is already €9 billion Euros short after the budget talks broke down. From the Euro Economics section, the EU is so predictable. Dr Eric Edmund wrote on Wednesday that nothing specific or helpful would be decided at Thursday's European Central Bank meeting. Thus, it was, as the Daily Te Telegraph headlines showed, Draghi bond plan fails to win over European markets. What plan? Alternatively, of course, Draghi allows time for Eurozone politics to prepare for Spanish bailout by Damien Rees. Well, all that requires is for the Spanish to surrender their fiscal sovereignty to Dr Frau Merkel. So no problem there then. The BBC economics editor Paul Mason got closest to the real truth on Thursday's Newsnight, repeating what I had said in my Wednesday blog. It's all about clearing the decks for the EU elite to sail their yachts without interruption on the Med during August. The Italians like to sail their boats to Greece across the Ionian Sea. Good to see Draghi is looking after his countrymen then. Now, as well as our virtual presence in cyberspace, we are very active in the real world too. Our team of 12 speakers are kept very busy with our current talk on the EU. We believe that the people of Britain should be aware of as much information as possible about the European Union, so as to be in a position to take an educated view on it. A part of that awareness process is to have speakers armed with accurate, informative scripts addressing meetings and gatherings. Now this 30 minute presentation takes the audience on a journey through history, looking at the treaties and who signed them and how that affects the governance of the British people. Now I'm hoping to arrange for Andrew Fear to come on this show and tell us more about the speakers and the work they do. In the meantime, if you're interested in arranging a speaker for an event you're involved with, then do feel free to contact Andrew via the team section of our website. Finally, those who do not know history are condemned to repeat it. 1972 et al. takes a journey back to Britain's entrance into the EEC, a trading bloc that was later to become a federal union. In 1972, the campaigns began in Britain for the country to join the European Economic Community. There was little real public information, 
This resulted in the formation of a yes and no campaigns and an eventual referendum. Now, the opening video in this section provides an introduction and guide to some of the literature issued in the early 1970s. This is followed by the documents themselves, which are presented electronically as PDFs, which you can download. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.